Did you know that, right now inside your body, your arteries could be slowly clogging up? And the scary part? You might not feel a thing until it's too late. Heart disease kills more Americans every year than anything else, right? High blood pressure and clogged arteries are often called silent killers because they typically show no symptoms until they cause something serious, like a heart attack or stroke. By then, the damage is already done. There are many natural ways to keep your heart healthy and clean out your arteries. You don't always need medications that often come with unwanted side effects. Today, I'm sharing the three most powerful nutrients that research shows can actually help unclog your arteries and bring down high blood pressure naturally. These aren't just random nutrients. These are backed by serious scientific research that the pharmaceutical companies don't want you talking about. Let me be clear. I'm not saying you should stop taking any medications your doctor has prescribed. But what if you could improve your heart health and potentially reduce your need for those medications over time? Before we dive into these life-changing nutrients, let's quickly understand what's actually happening in your arteries. Over time, due to unhealthy life, inflammatory substances, cholesterol, calcium, and other materials build up along your artery walls, forming what doctors call plaque. This plaque narrows your arteries, forcing your heart to pump harder to push blood through these narrowed passages. Actually, plaque buildup in arteries leads to two critical issues. Elevated blood pressure, which further stresses the heart and harms the arteries, and diminished blood flow, restricting vital oxygen and nutrients from reaching organs. It's a vicious cycle that gets worse over time, and it's happening to millions of people right now. Addressing the root cause of plaque buildup, rather than solely managing symptoms, is crucial for long-term cardiovascular health. The standard medical approach? Blood pressure medications that force your arteries to relax or diuretics that make you urinate more to reduce blood volume. But these don't address the underlying problem, the plaque buildup itself. That's where these three powerful nutrients come in. Okay, let's start with number three. Nutrient number three, coenzyme Q10. The third nutrient is one that doesn't get nearly enough attention, but it might be the most important for anyone over 40 or anyone taking statin medications for cholesterol. Coenzyme Q10, or CoQ10, is a compound made naturally in your body that plays a crucial role in generating energy in your cells, especially in high energy demand tissues like your heart. As we age, our natural production of CoQ10 declines dramatically. By age 50, your CoQ10 levels may be half what they were in your 20s. And if you're taking statin medications, your levels drop even further because statins block the same pathway that produces CoQ10. This CoQ10 depletion has direct consequences for your arterial and heart health. First, CoQ10 is one of the most powerful antioxidants in your body. It protects the delicate lining of your arteries from oxidative damage, one of the first steps in plaque formation. A meta-analysis of 12 clinical trials published in atherosclerosis found that CoQ10 supplementation significantly reduced oxidative stress markers and improved endothelial function, how well your arteries dilate and contract. But CoQ10's benefits for arterial health and blood pressure go even deeper. CoQ10 offers profound benefits for both arterial health and blood pressure. It boosts energy production in the cells lining your arteries, ensuring they operate at their best. This vital compound also rejuvenates other antioxidants, like vitamin E and vitamin C, enhancing their protective capabilities. Furthermore, it prevents LDL cholesterol from oxidizing, a crucial step, since LDL becomes harmful only when oxidized. CoQ10 also plays a direct role in lowering blood pressure through various sophisticated mechanisms. So, speaking of blood pressure, a meta-analysis in the Journal of Human Hypertension found that CoQ10 supplementation lowered systolic blood pressure by up to 17 mm of mercury and diastolic blood pressure by 10 mm of mercury in people with hypertension. Those numbers are better than many prescription medications. Unlike other nutrients, CoQ10 is somewhat difficult to find when it comes to dietary sources. While it's present in small quantities in certain foods like organ meats and fatty fish such as sardines and mackerel, grass-fed beef, 
spinach, and broccoli, these amounts often fall short of what's needed for therapeutic benefits. Consequently, to truly harness the advantages of CoQ10 and achieve the desired levels, incorporating a high-quality supplement is usually the most effective approach. Don't forget to check with a doctor to ensure there are no interactions with other supplements or medications. So, if you didn't find the proper source to get CoQ10, let me show you an ultimate solution. If you want to harness the full potential of CoQ10 with two others amazing nutrients, here comes CardioClear 7, which combines a breakthrough formula with three natural ingredients CoQ10, PQQ, and Shilajit to restore heart energy and prevent plaque buildup. Users report skyrocketing energy and impressive checkup results. Check the pin comment to get exclusive limited time offer before time runs out. Nutrient number two, omega-3 fatty acids. The next powerhouse nutrient for unclogging arteries and lowering blood pressure is omega-3 fatty acids. Unlike magnesium, which most people have at least heard about, the true power of omega-3s for arterial health is still not fully appreciated by most people. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA found in fatty fish, work like liquid drano for your arteries. They literally help clean out the inflammatory buildup that leads to arterial plaque. Here's how omega-3s works in the body. First, they're powerful anti-inflammatories. Chronic inflammation is one of the main drivers of arterial plaque buildup. By reducing inflammation, omega-3s help stop this process at its source. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that people who took 4 grams of prescription-grade EPA daily had a 25% reduced risk of cardiovascular events compared to those taking a placebo. That's huge! Beyond their anti-inflammatory effects, omega-3 fatty acids offer a remarkable array of cardiovascular benefits. They work diligently to reduce triglycerides, a harmful blood fat that contributes to plaque buildup in arteries. Simultaneously, they elevate HDL cholesterol, often referred to as the good cholesterol, which actively aids in removing plaque. Furthermore, omega-3s play a crucial role in making platelets less sticky, thus lowering the risk of dangerous blood clots. They enhance the elasticity and efficiency of artery walls, ensuring smoother blood flow. In addition, these powerful nutrients directly contribute to lowering blood pressure, fostering a healthier heart. One particularly impressive study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that omega-3 supplementation lowered systolic blood pressure by an average of 4.51 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure by 3.05 millimeters of mercury in people with hypertension. That's comparable to what some medications achieve. To incorporate more omega-3 fatty acids into your diet, consider consuming fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, and anchovies two to three times per week, either baked, grilled, or pan-fried. For plant-based options, algae can be taken as a supplement or found in certain sea vegetables. Walnuts can be enjoyed as a snack, added to salads, or used in baking, while flax seeds can be sprinkled on yogurt, cereals, or blended into smoothies. These also contain ALA, which your body must convert to EPA and DHA. Most experts recommend consuming fatty fish at least twice a week. If that's not possible, a high-quality fish oil or algae oil supplement providing at least 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA daily can be beneficial. One important note, not all omega-3 supplements are created equal. Many cheap fish oil supplements are oxidized before you even open the bottle. By the way, check with a doctor to ensure there are no interactions with other supplements or medications. If you found this information valuable, hit that subscribe button right now to learn more life-changing health strategies in my next video. Let's move to the final and number one nutrient for our heart health. Nutrient number one, magnesium. Magnesium might be the most underrated mineral for heart health. Studies show that about 68% of Americans don't get enough magnesium in their diet. And here's the kicker. This deficiency is directly linked to higher blood pressure and arterial plaque formation. Why is magnesium so important? It works on multiple levels to protect your heart. First, magnesium acts as a natural calcium channel blocker. In fact, 
Some blood pressure medications work by blocking calcium channels artificially. Magnesium does this naturally, helping your arteries relax and dilate, which immediately lowers blood pressure. A meta-analysis published in the journal Hypertension reviewed 34 clinical trials and found that magnesium supplementation led to significant reductions in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Magnesium plays a crucial role in heart health, going beyond just lowering blood pressure. It actively reduces inflammation in arterial walls, preventing the buildup of calcium that contributes to plaque formation. Furthermore, it ensures the heart's electrical signals remain balanced for a steady rhythm and supports the production of nitric oxide, a vital compound that helps arteries widen, improving blood flow. Essentially, magnesium works in multiple ways to protect and maintain a healthy cardiovascular system. According to the journal, the American Heart Association found that people with higher magnesium levels in their blood had 42% lower risk of coronary artery calcification, literally less hardening of the arteries. So, how much magnesium do you need? The RDA is around 400 to 420 milligrams for men and 310 to 320 milligrams for women. But many health experts believe optimal levels are higher, especially if you're already dealing with high blood pressure. So, integrating magnesium-rich foods into your daily life can be both delicious and beneficial for your heart health. Start your day by adding a handful of spinach to your morning smoothie or omelet. For a satisfying snack, reach for almonds or pumpkin seeds, packed with magnesium and other essential nutrients. Avocado toast at lunchtime is not only trendy, but also a fantastic way to get your daily dose of this mineral. When a sweet craving hits, indulge in a small piece of dark chocolate. Remember to choose varieties with at least 70% cacao. In the evening, include beans or lentils in your dinner. These versatile legumes can be incorporated into soups, stews, or salads. By making these small changes, you'll be on your way to boosting your magnesium levels and supporting your overall well-being. But here's the problem. Modern farming practices have depleted our soil of minerals, including magnesium. So even if you're eating these foods, you might not be getting as much magnesium as you think. That's why supplementation can be helpful. Magnesium glycinate, magnesium taurate, and magnesium malate are generally better absorbed forms. If you take magnesium glycinate before bed every night, which not only helps your blood pressure, but also improves the sleep quality. But still, check with a doctor to ensure there are no interactions with other supplements or medications. The synergistic effect to the heart. Now here's the really exciting part. While each of these nutrients is powerful on its own, when combined, they create a synergistic effect that's greater than what you'd get from each one individually. Magnesium helps your body utilize CoQ10 more effectively. Omega-3s enhance the antioxidant effects of CoQ10, and all three together create a comprehensive approach to arterial health. Magnesium relaxes your arteries and prevents calcium buildup. Omega-3s reduce inflammation and improve artery flexibility. CoQ10 protects your arterial walls and energizes heart function. Together, they address virtually every aspect of arterial health and blood pressure regulation. Let's set your arterial cleansing protocol. So how do you put this knowledge into action? Here's a simple protocol to get started. First, always check with your doctor before changing anything especially if you take medicines. Then, eat more foods with magnesium, and maybe take a magnesium supplement, about 200 to 400 milligrams daily. Also, eat fish with omega-3s twice a week, or consider a supplement, around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams daily. You can also take a CoQ10 supplement, 100 to 200 milligrams daily, which is extra important if you use statins. Be patient and consistent. Arterial plaque doesn't form overnight, and it won't disappear overnight either. Give these nutrients at least three to six months to show their full effects. Lastly, check your blood pressure regularly at home. Doing all these together works best for your heart. Remember, these nutrients support each other, so implementing all three together will give you the best results. So, your arteries can become more flexible, less clogged, and function better at any age. Your blood pressure can normalize without depending solely on medications, and your risk of serious cardiovascular events can significantly decrease. 
All it takes is the right information and the willingness to take control of your own heart health. And with that, we wrap up today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more queries, I have also added some studies at the end of this video description. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay healthy, stay fine.